What's going on Gavin squad here another reaction video for you today So I got a request for some more stand-up comedy. I promise I'm getting to as many requests as I can It's been a while since I did some stand-up man. Um, I actually did or tried to do uh, Ricky Gervais Who's personally one of my favorite comedians of all time a reaction to one of his stand-up bits But unfortunately it got blocked. We have George Carlin rest in peace of course to George Carlin of course, I can't start this off without saying that. Um, I have watched some of his stand-ups. I'm not sure if I have seen this one. But when I got the request to do more stand-up, this was the request I got. And, you know, George Carlin, he was he was a legend. He was, he was a hilarious man. He was a legend. He was always touching on some real facts. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share. Join the squad. Join the family. George Carlin, seven words you can't say on TV. Let's get it. Sometimes, well, hell yeah. Sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. That's And they're the only words that seem to have that restriction. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know. Pneumonia! Nobody gives you a lot of... All right, you can't yell it in the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? There are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. There are some words... That we just have decided we will not say all the time. Sometimes, okay. If you're running through the jungle chasing somebody that we're at war with, you can holler them. If you're shooting a criminal. Have you guys ever wondered that? I used to wonder this all the time as a kid. Who made up these rules? Because I, I was getting in trouble as a kid, like fifth grade. Like I remember I got a detention in the principal's office. I had to eat my lunch at the principal's office for a week because I said fuck and then the punishment was the detention but also I had to go get like a call to my parents I'm like okay well think about it like this parents are huge influencers to the kids so if I I've, I'm caught saying something chances are either I learned it at home or I learned it from one of my friends and in fifth grade is it really surprising I knew the word fuck you know so I, I just think that's stupid. Like, who sat down and made this, like, oh, this word is okay, but this word? Oh, no, you can't be saying that. Really, if you think about it, even our names are just words you say to get someone's attention. It doesn't actually mean anything. So, anyway, man, I think words are just words. They're just sounds in the way people communicate. But what makes one word worse than the other? Y'all know what I mean? Leave a like if you guys agree with me. Let's get back to it. Well, it's okay. It's the all-American thing. Dirty fucking crook. <laughs> but if you're with the bishop's wife at lunch, it's better not to ask for the goddamn lettuce. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like we've decided there'll be some words we won't say all the time. And I was just trying to find out which words they were. For sure. All of them. I wanted a list. Because nobody gives you a list. That's the problem. They don't give you a list. Wouldn't you think it'd be normal if they didn't want you to say something to tell you what it is? Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck! <laughs> ah! That's two. <laughs> oh, ma, that's enough trial and error, huh? <laughs> Please, ma, give me a list, huh? <laughs> All right, you're six years old now. And here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, hey, thanks, Ma. Boy, that's going to save me an ass kicking or two. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you never know what's going to be on the list. Because it's always somebody else's list. You didn't make that up. Somebody told you that shit. They told you better. Better not say that. So you got to... Man, I had teachers growing up where they wouldn't even allow students to say the word damn. So everyone has their own opinion on what's offensive, what's, especially nowadays, everyone's offended by like everything. But, you know, everyone has their own list on what they find offensive, what they consider a swear word, what it isn't, you know, like what's appropriate to say at a certain time versus what isn't. You know, everyone has a different list. Everyone has a different, because it's a different person. They have a different mindset. And you don't know what's going to be on their list. God, people's lists even change from day to day. Some people on Friday night got a list, you know, not about two or three words. Sunday morning, goddamn, they 27 words. 
These are the same people two days later. Different list. So you got to kind of watch out what you're going to believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. There are a lot of these little two-way, double entendre words that have two meanings, words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% dirty. You have words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. But you can't say, hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> Hey, go, go, go clap some cheeks. Bitch. Bitch is another word like that. Same kind of word. It's only dirty part of the time. Depends on what you mean by bitch. You might be the lady from the San Diego Zoo visiting one of the Tonight Shows, and you might just have a bunch of little canines with you there. One of them is a female. You say, there's the bitch, Johnny, and it's okay, fine. Just don't refer to the singer the same way. That's all. <laughs> is that bitch going to do another number? Yes. <laughs> Animals are fine on those two-way words and that's it that's what i was trying to find the words that were always dirty not just part of the time but completely filth well in in looking for these words i kept finding new categories we have so many ways of describing these dirty words it's well we have more ways to describe dirty words than we actually have dirty words mm -hmm. that seems that's a little strange to me it seems to indicate that somebody was awfully interested in these words they kept referring to them. They called them bad words, <laughs> dirty, filthy, foul, vile, vulgar, coarse, in poor taste, unseemly, street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, <laughs> barracks talk, body, S naughty, saucy, raunchy, Rude, crude, lewd, lascivious, indecent, profane, obscene, blue, off-color, <laughs> risque, suggestive, <laughs> cursing, cussing. Man, if we have this many terms for, you know, like, people obviously, like, thought about it hard. Like, this, 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 should, this should be said, this should not be said. Like, I'm, I'm going to create a big checklist here. You know, make draw like a on a whiteboard, like words I can say, words I can't say. Like, bro, like the fact that people actually think about it to this extent is just it's just crazy to me, man. It's just, it's just communication. Swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way, man. <laughs> he said it. Yo, you can't say any of that shit on TV. At least on regular TV. God damn, let's run that back. Cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> that was my original list. I knew it wasn't complete. But it was a starter set, you know? <laughs> Shit, piss, fuck... Yes, WBAI is the one who played them. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. Now, that was the original list. We've added a few words since then. We've added fart, turd, and twat. <laughs> and I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very closely. Some of your favorites might make the list this year. <laughs> Asshole, ball bag, hard on, piss hard, blue balls, taint, nookie, snatch, box, pussy, pecker, pecker head, pecker tracks, jism, joint, doniker, dork, poontang. <laughs> cornhole, and dingleberry. <laughs> dingleberry, a very popular word. And to my way of thinking, Dingleberry, a rather innocent sounding word, Dingleberry, sounds Christmassy to me, you know. <laughs> Let's put one on the tree, Dad. Man. I, I don't even know what to say. 
Fucking George Carlin, man. Rest in peace to George Carlin. Like, for real, he he was a legend. Bringing laughter even to this day. He's he's going down in history as one of the legends for comedy, man. But anyway, hope y'all had a laugh with me. Man, rest in peace again. It's crazy how the legends are gone, man, for the most part. You know, you got to appreciate the legends while they're still here. You know, it goes for music, stand-up comedy, you name it. As long as these legends are still here, man, you got to appreciate them before it's too late. But anyway, stay tuned. I have more videos coming for y'all soon. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share. Join the squad. Join the family. Let's get it, man.